Hello. Welcome to this new video on typing mathematical equation or writing mathematical equation in MS Word quickly. Tips and tricks. This is the second video in which we will be covering some basics and then a shortcut for writing superscript and subscripts. Correct? Now, in basics, let me tell you that there are four special, special keys that you have to remember. That is, first key is spacebar key that will be denoted by SP. Uh, in square brackets uh, in this and in further videos wherever I want to specify it then uh, second and third key is left and right cursor key or arrow key and fourth key is alt and equal to combination combination of alt and equal to key okay this four key has a special meaning when you are uh, writing an equation in in equation box correct now uh, before jumping to the, uh, to the equation let me tell you some some basic things like we can write equation in um, in a same line or you can write in a new line generally it depends on you the equation on the same line or in a new line so there are two modes first one is inline mode and second one is offline mode in an inline mode the equation will be written in the same line in which the other text or text were there and in offline mode that equation will appear on a new line okay equation is implemented in a separate line okay so let me give an example of this let us say I'm opening a word and uh, suppose I want to write alpha is written as now if I want to write an alpha in same line then it is called as an inline mode so what I will do is to activate my uh, equation tool or a window in which I will be writing equation we have a short key which we have already seen is all plus equal to sign all plus equal to key both the key has to be pressed together first all and then followed by equal to okay this thing can can also be done with the help of mouse uh, but we have to go to insert and then equation same thing will appear correct okay now suppose if I want to type an alpha so in the previous in the previous video we have seen for typing alpha the shortcut is backslash a l p h a and then space okay so as you can see that alpha has appeared in same line so in this way it is an inline mode of writing an equation there is a second mode in which you can write equation is alpha is written as now, if I want to write an equation in, in a new line, then I have to press enter and then press alt and equal to sign. So this will automatically, this command will automatically open an equation, uh, a box in which you can write equation, but, and that box will be on a new line. Actually, we have already moved to a new line. That's okay. And here we can write do whatever, we can write whatever we have to. For example, in this case, again, I have to write alpha and then space. So the first line is in line mode the second one is off line mode okay. moving further superscript and subscript now for so anything that is followed by that is following underscore will be considered as a superscript and anything that is following caret will be considered as superscript Remember once again I will tell you anything which is anything which is following underscore will be considered as subscript and anything which will be following a caret will be considered as superscript. For example, backslash alpha this will result in alpha underscore four. The four will be considered as a subscript as it is following underscore. Correct? Now if you want to have write a superscript then let us consider this example backslash beta that will print beta and then uh, caret sign and then final so as I've already told anything that will be following a caret will be considered as a superscript and then you have to press a spacebar then only this series of character will be converted into this symbol okay so let us take an example suppose I want to write area of circle as pi r square okay in this equation editor let us say I want to write area of circle 
equal to pi for writing pi backward slash and then pi into then space and then r square r square means uh, we have to write two in superscript that is we have to uh, caret sign and then two and then space bar as soon as you hit space bar this con internal conversion or autocorrect math autocorrect uh, feature will be activated and it will take care correct uh, writing a sub uh, and subscript for uh, again we can write um, su a subscript also for example let us say i want to include uh, area underscore uh, area of circle area underscore circle and then if i press space and look like this anything that is followed by a underscore will be considered as a subscript this is the simple way of writing subscript and superscript in an equation correct now the advantage of this thing is you don't have to uh, move over from mouse and keyboard and all these stuffs because this takes a lot of time especially if you have a lot if you have big equation in which you have a lot of subscript and superscript now one more question can arise is suppose let us say a character is having subscript and superscript as well suppose so that can be that can be written easily let us write an, an another equation in which bit uh, let us say alpha and i will be subscript and final will be superscript so for writing an alpha alpha okay subscript has to be preceded by an underscore so alpha underscore i and i have to have a superscript of final raise to final okay and then if i press space bar all these things will be automatically done there is absolutely nothing that you should write subscript subscript followed by superscript or superscript followed by subscript it can be anything let us try again backslash alpha and raise to final underscore i okay so as per your wish you can write first superscript and then subscript and then all the other way down correct now one more thing is uh, here all this thing is coming after alpha so subscript is coming after alpha and final is also coming after alpha now, now let's say you want uh, this subscript and superscript before a character like alpha then now syntax for writing um, a subscript and superscript uh, before a key, uh, before a character is like this you have to include all these things uh, in a in a round brackets and write whatever you want that is same syntax rule will be followed like uh, underscore and character for subscript and superscript for example let us say i'm going to write uh, i in uh, subscript and uh, uh, final in superscript then i have to write this in bracket and then press space and after space you have to write whatever symbol you want like uh, alpha i need and then space right so it's quite easy instead of hovering between mouse and keyboard generally i don't like this especially this kind of shortcut will be very beneficial if you are good at typing okay so in this video we have covered how to write subscript and superscript before and after a key symbol or, or a character so for your reference this is a final um, syntax that is for subscript you have to write underscore and for uh, superscript you have to write a caret followed by whatever you want um, okay in subscript or superscript and if you want to have both you can you can write it or type it like this okay if you want subscript or superscript before a character like this so so you have to write subscript and superscript subscript is a and superscript is b in a, in a round braces uh, in a round braces and then space and then again whatever symbol you want in this case we have written omega we'll be covering more things in the future lectures